Hello guys, I'm Professor Mark Tullio with Fundamentals of Mechanical Vibrations. Today, we're going to solve a problem whose the goal is write the equation of motion of a pivoted bar linked to a car by using Newtonian mechanics. Let's go. So, that's, uh, that's the system composed by composed by a pivoted bar, homogeneous bar, and a car linked to a rigid rod, okay? And uh, the car is attached to a wall by, by means of a spring. Here we have a point O, the homogeneous bar uh, at the free end, we have a a rod, massless rod, connected to a block or a car, whose the mass is M, and the, the spring has the stiffness K. Okay, so important information here. The rod is massless. The rod is massless. Okay. So, as we need to to solve this problem by me uh, Newtonian mechanics, we need to build a free body diagram. Free body diagram we have a copy of this drawn here so first of all we have a uh, reaction forces here at at the pivot we have so let's erase um, i need to change the color here so yellow A vertical reaction RV horizontal reaction the weight of the bar located at the mid span of the bar M capital M times G so, if the bar acts to the acts on the car, we need a force here, a force F, and the free tip of the bar, we have the reaction F, and considering the car we have the weight we have the normal reaction and we have uh, we have the left side of the car uh, elastic force the in this case uh, the car move moved to the right so we have our post force here caused by spring because the spring is compressed so in this case the spring deformation is x so uh, we need to know the the variables to write the equation of motion change the color here light blue here the dashed uh, line here means the variable x to govern the translation and here we have an angular variable we have angle theta angle theta okay and the last information here the 
moment arm. We need the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance of the line of action of the weight force to the point O. That's the distance. In this case, this distance is L over 2 plus theta. Another uh, important uh, information. Theta must be less than 5 degrees to uh, allow uh, linearize all the these functions uh, in this problem. Okay? Theta less or equal than 5 degrees. In this case, we have all information we need to go on in the exercise. Now, from now on, we have to apply the, the second law. Second the sum of force the second law for the i for i really forgot to to identify the fbd fbd related to the car is fbd two related to the bar FBD one so let's let me correct applying second law to the F BD1, we have the sum of moments around point O, because it's the pivot, is equal to moment in, of inertia of, of mass about O, the total, total moment, in, moment of inertia, times angular acceleration by theta double dot. We need to consider a reference here. In this case, the, um, the bar rotated counterclockwise, counterclockwise positive. So, let's go on. Uh, the moment due to the weight is computed as M capital M plus times G times moment arm. That's the moment arm L over two times theta minus because minus because the moment generated by the weight force is uh, rotated to the clockwise. For this reason, we have to, to put minus here. And other force, ah, okay. There is, uh, the reaction forces uh, don't, do not generate moment uh, about point O. But force F, generated moment. Let's put the moment caused by the F. So the F is located at the free end of the bar. Minus because the, uh, the moment generated by F force rotates the bar and clockwise 
says let's minus F plus the moment arm. What's the moment? The, the moment arm to uh, force F is the, the the moment arm is the L plus times L equal to moment of inertia of mass in this case of the bar plus angular acceleration so here we need uh, we have uh, a first first expression let's uh, isolate f f is equal to minus j o times double dot theta double dot over l minus m g times theta over two we cut L in this case here so now we have a, a first expression okay now we need to to know what's the relationship between the variable x and the variable theta how it's simple at the free end what's the 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 the, the displacement of the free free tip here is l times theta but the rod is stiff there is no deformation for this rod in this case for this reason the displacement of this point here is the exactly the same displacement of this point here in this case what's the displacement for uh, of the car x so l times theta is equal to to x so x is equal l theta we have a relationship between x and theta because the the system has one unique uh, degree of freedom just one the system it has one degree of freedom let's continue we need to write to apply the second law now for free body number two so sum of force is equal to mass of the car times its acceleration x double dot what's the orientation for the reference positive to the right positive to the right let's consider free bar diagram number two the f agree with the half reference so for this reason it's positive f um, elastic force is don't agree with their reference so for this reason minus k plus okay um, times x 
equal mass of the car times its acceleration. The, the force weight and the normal reaction is not important for this, this problem because there is no movement at the vertical according vertical direction. Okay? So uh, we need uh, sorry, I I want to write this equation with respect to the theta variable. In this case we need to replace x by this relationship here. So let's let's do it. F minus k times x. Oh, sorry. Let's erase. K. plus L theta equal to M X double dot X double dot is simply equal to L theta double dot times L theta double dot we have other expression here. We have two equations and uh, just only one unknown parameter. In this case, we have to replace this f here, here from this position to this position. Let's do it. Min minus J O B over L theta double dot minus M G over two theta theta minus K L times theta equal M L Double dot. Okay, so uh, let's organize this expression here. We have here J B theta double dot over L. Plus ML double dot plus M capital M over two theta plus K L theta equal to equal to zero because there uh, there is a free vib uh, vibration there is no external force uh, providing any source of vibration so let's group the common parameters here j o over l plus m l double dot plus M 
D plus KL times theta equal to zero. So that's the equation of motion for our problem today. So we need to calculate the the moment of inertia of mass for the bar. But it's simple. Let's calculate here. Let's remember it's a homogeneous bar. This is the pivot CG free tip here. We need to use the Ax uh, the parallel axis theorem. So in this case, the point, this uh, the bar is pivoted in point o, point o. So J about O is equal to J of the bar about its CG center of gravity plus. Oh, let's re-erase it's very weird. Re-erase. Plus M times the distance between the pivot point and the CG. In this case, L over 2 squared. L over 2 squared. Let's go on. J O is equal. In the case of the homogeneous bar, if you if you see in the uh, ordinary table, you will find one times uh, one over twelve M L squared plus M L over 4. Solving this expression, we conclude that the J uh, about O is one third M L squared. Now, the next step is to replace this expression here over here. It's okay. In this case, we reach our initial goal to write the equation of motion for the system. Let's remember an uh, important concept here. All this term multiplying the acceleration is known as equivalent mass. Equivalent mass. All this term, term here multiplying displacement is known as equivalent stiffness if you if you want to compute the natural frequency just use this expression here equivalent equivalent stiffness over equivalent mass A simple procedure. Okay. So, guys, that's all, folks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe the channel. Share this video. To uh, help the most of people. 
we want. Okay? See you guys. See you on next video.